So I'm going to be doing another teaching on history about Jesus, obviously, because I feel like if I can prove to people he real, even more people accept him. Even now, even the people that already accept him before. So I'm going to start off with like this. So. question is, who is Jesus? So, Jesus Christ came down from this earth, 100% man, 100% God. And a lot of people, you know, they don't want to believe that he God because they don't think it's possible. But think about it like this. If God can do anything he wants, if he God, he should be able to do anything right and please just watch the whole video because i'm i'm really finna spit some facts to all y'all because not even just about this i'm finna give you evidence then i'm gonna talk about other religions and how they fall so just and it is just a lot so just watch the video so he is god meaning he existed before he was even put on this earth how do i know that we got the Bible to prove it. I'm going to give you an example. If you read Revelation, you can look it up. He said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the last. The first and first, yeah, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, first and the last. If he the first and the last, if he the beginning and the end, what do that mean? If you read back in Genesis, that's what God said. He said, let's make man in our image. This was before Jesus even created. So he said, who he talking to? Here you go. Here you go, right here. Watch. This is what he was talking to. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So, if this is the case right here, he God. Because a lot of people say this, they'd be like, Christianity, yes, this contradicted because it's not God and just one God, it's three gods. No, it's not, because I'm gonna tell you why. This, you know what that is? Three and one. That's what this is. It ain't. It ain't three separate gods. God is not the author of confusion. It's three and one. I'm gonna tell you how I know it's three and one. Because straight up, just like this, a God, all powerful, all knowing, he don't need multiple. He don't need multiple gods to get his job done. Especially if you create an earth, all it takes is one God. That's it. That's all it takes. And I'm gonna go some of it just so this you know, bear with me. So, like I said, it's three and one. Okay. So then, see, so just like this. Oh yeah, yeah. And another mm -hmm. example in the Bible, how I know He God. See, I'm gonna give you evidence how I know He God without even using the Bible. But here's another. Jesus told his disciple, he said, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Because where did Jesus come from? Up there. But God put him down to earth to be the sacrificial lamb for us. So, like I said, with that being said, I'm going to give you the evidence for Jesus and I'm going to put in all the religions. And I'm you going to see where I'm from. These is the facts. These are the facts. So, the first one. We got 5,000 ancient manuscripts. 
and line up with them. 99% accuracy on one another. Okay? That's just one of them. Then, you know what we got? 300 prophecies of the Messiah. Jesus fulfilled every single one of them. Go one, there go two. You want some more evidence? Okay. We got, so with Moses, when they was running from Pharaoh people, he parted the Red Sea. When he closed the Red Sea on Pharaoh people, the water, the water consumed them. And I'm going to put the video in the description. We got the chariots at the bottom of the Red Sea. I got the video. So that's another example, right? Then I'm going to tell you this right here. So there's only three. This ain't even the main. This ain't even. This baby stuff. But you want some more, you want some more baby stuff? I'll give you some more baby stuff. So. Think about it like this. You got these three, right? Am I missing something? And I'm missing something. One thing I miss. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. So we got. Stone, you know, from Sodom and Gomorrah, when God blew it up, we got a brimstone at that site. Then I'm gonna tell you what else we got. What's this thing right here? Now, when I write this, a lot of people ain't not, they're gonna be like, oh, that's not real. But I, I, I didn't heard it, it's evidence. It's evidence right here. This is a fact, because people have done it. I've heard it with my own eyes. Not that was, I just messed that one up. I heard it. You feel me? I've, I've heard people speaking the tongue because there's evidence that the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of the person who's doing it. Then on top of this, I'm tell you, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give, like I said, I'm gonna give you more evidence. This is baby stuff. Jesus was the most written about person in human history. You can look, you can look all this up for you. Look up this. Look up the brimstone from Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm gonna put the video in the link for this one. You can look up the 300 prophecies of the Messiah. You can look up the 5,000 ancient manuscripts and line up the 99% accuracy. One of them. That's all you gotta do. But see, I'm gonna give you some more. Cause see, Jesus. He was the most written about person in human history. And the thing is, a historian, that's a professional person that know everything about history. If you tell a historian that Jesus didn't exist, you know what he's going to do? He going to laugh in your face because it's no deny. You, you're not finna sit here and deny Jesus didn't exist. You're not about to do that because we got evidence that this man walked this earth. Okay. So, now here comes the good stuff. I want you to think about this. So, if we got bones and fossils and dinosaurs and, and ancient mummies and ancient people, I'm going to tell you just like this. I'm going to tell you just like this. Tomb of Jesus. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what's, okay, look. So if we got
got the bones of all these ancient things. Why we gonna why we gonna got his bones? You know what? Funny thing is, it's history because you can't deny he existed. If he existed, we would have had his bones, but guess what? We don't have it because he rose from the dead. And the fact that he rose from the dead, that's the greatest history in the world. It's the greatest history in the world. The fact that he rose from the dead. You know why? Because the fact that he rose from the dead, he proved. It's life after death, and he proved that heaven and hell is real, and he proved that we can go to heaven with him and have mansions. And you know what's funny? You know what he told me? He said, if it wasn't mansions in heaven, I wouldn't have said nothing to you about it. We can have mansions in heaven. That's why I'm following him. If I want life after death, who I'm going to follow? Jesus. Now see. Here come all the religion. Hit me up. Because I'm really finna make a point. I'm really finna make a point. Really finna make a point right here. Finna make a point. So. You got See, I'm really finna break this stuff down. I'm finna just crush all this stuff. Man. Jehovah's Witness. That's what they believe. They believe it's only 144,000 people going to heaven. You know how many members they got in their religion? That's how I know that's all false. So, I'm going to go to this one. Muslims follow Muhammad. He dead in the grave. Why you, why you going to follow a dead man if you want life after death? Plus, on top of that, he said he don't do miracles. That's what he said. And then he gave a false prophecy. On top of that, the Hadid, the Hadid attributed miracles with him, saying he did miracles. After he just said he don't do miracles. So that's a contradiction on the song. Plus, on top of that, I'm going to tell you something funny. They believe Jesus is not God, right? So if that's the case, if God put his spirit inside of Mary Magdalene, who Jesus that? Oh, okay. So there go that one. Cause oh, and, and 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 before 
before I get to this one, I'm gonna explain to you how all this stuff act exactly the same. Right. Mormon, you know, and I ain't even finna bother with that one. I rebuked it back into the pits of hell where it belong. Cause you know what it teach. They said Jesus was the devil's brother. I ain't I, I shouldn't even put that one up there. I I rebuked it back to the pits of hell where it belong. Now this one. They, some of them do. Now Judaism, they don't accept the Messiah. Some of them do, but not all of them. Some of them do. So, it ain't, it ain't you know, it's, you gotta accept Jesus if you want to go to heaven. Because he said himself, he said, I'm the way the truth and the life. Nobody come to the Father but to me. If you try to go in any other way, you're a thief and a robber. So you gotta accept Jesus. And people don't even know. A lot of people don't even know. Jesus, he was a Jew. A lot of people don't know that. And you got atheists. They gotta believe that God is not real. That's a bleak on the song, but sadly, we know that's not the case. You feel me? If I go outside and I look at a building and I ask somebody who built that building, they're going to say a building. Same with the earth. If I ask somebody who made the earth, somebody say nobody. That don't make no sense because you don't get one from zero plus zero. Zero plus zero don't equal one. God had to be, God had to create all that stuff. If God had to be created, he couldn't be God. See what I'm saying? We could just, just don't believe in God. So they don't believe in God. Now this one, Hebrew Israelites, I'm going to tell you the problem with that. They believe that they be on the street preaching, and they be like, you know, they you know, they really be like this. They say, okay, any black, any random black person, they be like, brother, you know you a Hebrew Israelite? Y'all don't even be doing the DNA test or nothing. Y'all just say any black person. And he'd be like, and the thing is, they go off of Deuteronomy 28. If you read Deuteronomy 28, it, it basically, it clearly states, it said they're going to get enslaved and nobody will buy you. In human history, and when they enslaved people and put, brought them to America, what happened? They, they bought the slaves. They didn't buy, and, and the Bible said, live it, they would not buy you. So, Another one, you know, it, it. and see, I'm going to make a big point right here. I'm going to make two big points. Religions I name Islam, you know, Buddhism, Hinduism, all that. They, they basically believe in a good work system. Basically, they good outweigh they bad. And I'm gonna tell you why that's not morally just. Because if you commit a crime, say if you kill somebody, if you if you told the judge, look. I know I killed somebody, but I up to the old lady across the street. Look at all the good I did. If the judge say, you know what, you're right, I'm going to let you go. If the judge let you go, that's a corrupt judge. The guy in the Bible, the way he works is like this. They rely on their good works to get to heaven. But God, you got to rely on Jesus. But I'm going to keep going with this one. So they rely on their good works. Good out with the bad. So they believe they're good, but 
fuck with it, man. But like I said, judge that you know that's corrupt. But this, it's like this. If you do something wrong, the God of the Bible, which is the one true God, the one true only God, you gotta pay the penalty for your sin. You gotta do the time for your crime. But if you accept Jesus, the sacrificial lamb, he take the payment for he he pays the fine for your sin. And in a court when somebody pay your fine, you legally able to walk free and he'll cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's what he'll do. Now I'm gonna make another point. And this is gonna be real good right here too. So, it's like this. That's, you know, they go to religion. Like one last thing. It's like this. If somebody tell me we're supposed to respect all religions, you know why this for? Yeah, go right here. If I ask somebody, Right. If I say, do you believe the devil? Like, do you believe, you know, the devil real? If they say, yeah, I'm going to be like, all right. Do you believe he evil? They say, yeah. Because most of everybody know that. By them two statements, you agree to both of them. So by you saying that, if I ask you, so we supposed to respect all religions, so we respect Satanism, if you say yes, you just contradicted everything you said because by your own admission, you just said the devil evil. So why are you going to respect an evil religion? You see what I'm getting with this? And you know our religion? You know our divide people? Because there's somebody called the devil who go around spreading a false doctrine because he had a taste of what heaven is like. And he literally is trying to make, well, he already did it anyway, but he trying to take as many people to hell with him because he had a taste of what heaven was like. He was the most beautiful angel, but he got proud and puffed up. He tried to overthrow God. God kicked him out, and he put man in his place. And the devil don't like that. That's why the demons hate us, because we made an enemy of God. And on top of that, we get to go to heaven. But he can't go. That's why he's so mad, because he had a taste of what heaven is like. That's why religion exists. And obviously, the word religion in the Bible is worship to God. But all the other religions, they false. Especially reincarnation, because people be talking about I was a duck in my past life, but I'm finna come back as an airplane. I ain't trying to hear nothing there. So this one right here. See, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit this one good. I ain't gonna lie to you. So science. People wanna believe in science. Absolute truth. Man, everything in there, everything that's God's word, it says, Let God be true and every man alive. God cannot contradict himself. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to go with this. So, like I said, the Bible is absolute truth. And, you know, I'm going to get into what I'm about to get into in a second. Just listen to me. So, the Bible is absolute truth. A lot of, you know, evolutionists, people that don't believe in God, they say, you know, you can't test the Bible like I, you know, hypothesis, you, you can test it. I'm going to give you a perfect example. The law of gravity, the law of gravity in the physical sense is absolute because I'm going to tell you something. If somebody, somebody can make a subjective claim, a subjective claim is somebody making an assumption based off of their opinions and their feelings. If somebody said, I don't believe in gravity, that's what they said. They look at me and be like, I don't believe in gravity. What just happened? You just made a subjective claim. But I proved you wrong because the law of gravity is absolute truth. Okay? Same with the Bible. Because literally, I just tested that. I just tested what he said. So, follow me. In the Bible, it say, he who sins is a slave to sin. I'm a living testimony here. I can prove it right here. Because if sin is your master, you have to obey it because it has power over you. 
that's that's a fact. That's not it's not a claim. That's a fact. That's a fact on the song. You know what else is another fact? If you bound by your sin, Jesus can set you free because the Bible says, "He who the Son set free, set free indeed." So you can be bound by your sin and you can be set free. That's absolute truth, right there with what I just said. Same way you can test the hypothesis about how gravity is absolute. Same with the Bible is absolute. And here goes some more history for you. People want to say, you know, the Bible was forced on slaves, so that's why it. Okay. I know. I, I know. And, and this is what I say. I know the Roman Catholics, the same people that pierced Jesus, that was the start of the beast system. The same people that crucified Jesus, then the same people that went in the king, you know, the Bible, and they changed stuff around. Okay. So if that's the case, think about it like this. If you don't want to read the King James, you ain't got to. You know what you can go do? Back in the old days, they didn't speak English. They spoke Aramaic and Hebrew. Go get you Aramaic or Hebrew Bible. Oh, you know what you could do? Go get. And here goes some more evidence and facts right here. Okay. If you don't want to read the King James Bible, go read the Ethiopian Bible because that's the oldest written Bible that we got. And it exists 600 years before the King James Version. It existed before slavery even happened. So I don't want to hear no more. The white man did this. The white devil did that. Same with how the Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelites, what they want to do, they want to you know, call everybody white devils and stuff because they think that they the true Jew. I'm going to tell you what. Look, you know what Jesus said? He said, go and make disciples of all nations. East, West, South, North, all nations. Plus a revelation that said, I've seen a great multitude of all nations. Man. <laughs> and the thing is, you know why some people say this? Because they'll say, I'm not going to read the Bible because it was a forced on slavery and the fear tactic. They really just say it because they just don't like what it say. You know why? Because the Bible is absolute truth and the truth hurt. That's what they're saying comes from. The truth hurt because you know why? God said, God's word became flesh, Jesus. And the truth hurt. You know why? Because Jesus, when he come back, his mouth come out as a double-edged sword because it strikes the heart. You see what I'm saying? This ain't nothing but wisdom from heaven. I always, man, look. Let me see if I missed anything. Because, man. man, look. I could... I could go on and on, you know what I'm saying, and see, here you go, so, Cornelius Tacitus, one of the greatest Roman historians ever, right, you know what he did, he verified, this not even in the Bible, he was a Roman, a Roman historian, he verified that Jesus got executed on the cross. And you know what happened? The fact that he verified that, he verified that Jesus, what is it right here? It, it, it only verified that Jesus was, he existed. On top of that, Christianity started in Judea. Then you got, what's the other dude? Oh yeah, Lucian of Lucian. Same thing. Verified Jesus got executed on the cross. You know. And I, I didn't even look at this the whole video. He just speaking through me. You feel me? And you know. It's like this. Atheists what they try to do, they try to do the same thing and they try to tell people, you know, just just be a good person and just do what you think is right. I'm gonna tell you why that's 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 atheism kills more people than any other religion. You know why? Because Hitler was atheist. You know you know what's funny about this? They say do what you think is right. 
you ain't gotta believe in you know God. Hitler thought he was right. You know why? Because he was trying to destroy a whole race of Jews. Because in his mind, he thought he was doing the right thing. That's what happened when you go make your own footsteps and instead of following the footsteps that was made for you. And you know what I think? My homie Lucita, she told me, she said, I think that happened to the Jews because all go back to how they didn't accept the Messiah. Take that with a grain of salt, but I think that I think that's a pretty good argument for that. Why that makes sense like that? Why it was so bad? But I, th I feel like I'm missing some of those. Um, but like I said, the reason I follow Jesus, we like I said, we got we don't got his bones. He rose from the dead. He proved everything he taught was true. You feel me? And then, you know, on top of that, it's just like, man, we got all this evidence, and y'all still don't want to believe it. You know? And, yeah, I, I just, I just don't want to, I want to make sure I ain't missing nothing if I end this video. But, you know, like I said, you know, we got all this evidence, we got everything, you know, and it's up to you if you want to believe or not, you know, this stuff happened for a reason, coronavirus, all these natural disasters, all this stuff happened for a reason, you know, and we living in the last days, today is the day of salvation, except Jesus. Now, don't keep putting it off. Accept him now. Because he want to come beside you and make his home there so you can go to heaven. Go get your mansion up there. Don't waste your time with nothing the world got to offer. Because it ain't, this world ain't always what it's saying. It is not what it's saying. The devil is the god of this world. That's what it's saying about him. He the prince of power there. That's why he got a spiritual influence on all these people. When you born again, God will lift that veil off your spiritual eyes. He'll help you see what you need to see. You know what I'm saying? Don't, like I said, look, don't, don't buy into what the devil got to offer. Because Jesus got way more to offer you than what the devil got. Because his way is going to lead to hell. Jesus, he, he want to give you a beautiful life in heaven. Perfect peace, perfect joy, no pain, no suffering, no sickness, no disease. None of that. You know what I'm saying? He been answering my prayers. He been helping me. He been guiding me. He been leading me. And I do this for everybody watching these videos because I want to help as many people as I possibly can come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's all I'm trying to do. All this, I, I've been studying this, man. Jesus is real. You ain't, ain't nobody finna tell me he ain't real. We got all this evidence. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, when he come back, it ain't going to be pretty. But we just got to be ready. So, like I said, that was just, you know, a quick little lesson on history. Like I said, Jesus was the most written about person in history. That should tell you something right there. On top of all the evidence that we got for him, and, you know, the manuscripts and the fire and the brimstone and the chariots at the bottom of the Red Sea and, you know, we got, and and the funny thing is, it's like this. I learned a lot of people, what they did, they associated black people with sin because the reason that, you know, that white image of Jesus came out, because in my opinion, I think he was Middle Eastern, but this 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 what happened. People, I think back in the slave times, they did like this. They associated Jesus with the light, so they made him, you know, more white, more bright, more white. They associated Black people with darkness. That's when you know we got all the debate between white Jesus, black Jesus. No, he Middle East. He right in the middle. And the thing is, it don't matter what color skin color he is either. You know why? I'm black, but I bleed the same color as everybody else watching this video. Guess what color I bleed? Red. I bleed the same color as everybody watching this video. All I ask, just I'm gonna put I'm gonna put stuff I found, I'm putting the stuff I found in the description. Like I said, 
just do research for yourself. Just look at everything I said. If anything I said true, you know, anything I said 